Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. I have seen some of these videos before, uh, Kurt. Yeah, I like it. I like their page. It's like it's 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 good shit. Like it's it's not all like one direction. Like they have, I mean, it's it's the same concept, but you know, it's so many different so topics. Different, yeah, yeah. It was son. It was this one thing I watched recently. I want to say it's on Netflix. Um, I forgot what it's. Hey. Let me text to see what we found out. That's an unfair question. Come on, bro. But I mean, it's black for so it. Why black, did anyone say this? Agree just because <laughs> she's the most strongly. I thoroughly enjoy fried chicken. I, 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 I love it. No I way people fly and go for that. And all that kind of stuff, but I think white I, people I like fried chicken. All really races like fried, fried chicken. Really Everyone likes fried, fried chicken, chicken, son. That's just how it is. Chicken's just Everyone different. <laughs> It. I, just, I don't enjoy it. I don't really eat oh, fried foods. I try to. Parents, you can't tell me that you put a box of chicken in front of her that she's not grabbing at least two to three pieces. There's nothing wrong she with She said she don't eat fried food. food. There ain't nothing wrong with that. What? I ain't see what it said. I think that's cat. Yeah, they keep wearing dreads. Is there anything wrong with white people? There's nothing wrong with white people wearing dreads. <laughs> What y'all think? Yeah. Weird? Well, drugs, pause it, pause it, pause it. Let's, let's pause it after each one. After each one. Like on the second. Like All right. So, I don't think I don't think that is is a problem with it. I just think the fact that we try to stereotype different hairstyles. Because I mean, so do you, you think it's a problem for white people to wear dreads? No, I don't. Yeah, that that's what the question was. So you, so you don't think? Yeah, it's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think because I feel like the only reason why people think it's a problem is because they stereotype it to black people and Jamaicans and stuff like that. Right. When in reality, anybody. What you think, Jared? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a big deal, honestly. Because uh, I remember Donovan had just, I don't know if you remember Donovan. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> shit was fire. So. <laughs> like Donovan had what? Jazz. Donovan had, had what? You better go kill him. <laughs> Donovan. <laughs> you remember that suit? I don't remember. I need to see that. I don't remember that. Like Senior year high school shit. Are you, are you yeah, cool with that though? Soup is something you got to smoke. I don't know. I just I have a problem with Donovan having it because I ain't never saw it. That's what I just want. <laughs> I just want to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> to your face and be like you're not 100 percent black therefore you can't like I, that's not my place however um if you're a white person and you have dreads in your hair it's like what 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 does that mean to you and you're not even wearing them right like you need to wash them I, I just don't see how a race can own a hairstyle no to be honest like hair is hair there's all kinds of hairstyles in africa i still don't think that like a single race group can say this one hairstyle nobody else can do it but me I agree. Yeah, thanks. All right. Is all, right. all right. It's Kanye West and Mike. Uh, hell yeah. The cookout? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. With everything that he's done and it has been going on with him. Thanks. How do these people disagree? You're the most strongly disagree. Hey, I don't get the question. Like, like uh, no more cookouts. <laughs> no, bro. Just go home. Like, there ain't no cookout. I'm sorry. I, I strongly agree because I I don't like the idea of perpetuating this concept that all black people have to be the same and think the same and act the same. I don't think he's fully understood. People like Kanye are creatives and he uses like creative speech. And some people just take him at face value or like, right. uh, like kind of like the literal sense of what he's saying. And if you did that, every creative... <laughs> I disagree with that deep. Like, I don't think that he's so creative and that his words are being misinterpreted. Like, he's making very specific phrases. Like, black people chose to be slaves. That's completely untrue. And in my opinion, that's just unexpected. whatever. She did not hear that in context. That's how I know she did not listen. She did not listen. She is uninformed. Well, they could have became there's a, slaves. There's a mindset um, well, they where, where, you know, you we have options. Where, like, Here, so okay, like he was trying to, to say it in the term of like, slave. you know, it was a choice for you to stay there when you knew that you could have 
done whatever else to get out and maybe you would have ended up dead but it would have been better than being a slave so i don't i don't it's not like i'm this negates this negates though this negates the millions of people who did don't you believe that today there are people whose mindset they're corporate slaves or they're or they're people but you, you gotta be careful are. with the language you use kanye's an artist he's a lyricist so you can't say stuff like that because some metaphors. people haven't learned their history yet and some people don't know that it was millions and millions and millions of blacks who fought oppression who fought slavery but you're right in that he needs to be more conscious of his word choice because there's not everybody who's going to understand that and that's and why i say yeah somebody as smart as kanye i think he's doing this for shock value and for money and if he's doing that he's setting people back and that's why i can't rock with him on that what scares me is the second I'm somebody that, that kind of has not not has they're problem. able to articulate what they're trying to say well or not see how you can gain money by saying back from, 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 from your identity i think and i think that's scary right now <laughs> He was no son. He was just venting. He was just venting, son. Do y'all think? Do y'all really think he is like a bad guy? Kanye? No. No, I think he's flawed. Like, I think people just be tripping because they don't understand. So. Steven, he's, he's, human. Like, he's the most he's human. Right. To be honest, we're going to be like people it. to have closeted feelings and emotions and this goes back to people saying like like would you rather have a racist next to you that's hiding it or would you rather have a racist next to you that's uh letting you know how they feel and you know where they're coming from cool and i agree with you and that's why i put that's why i'm in a disagree column he can come eventually once we have some conversations but right now i don't need that kind of foolishness around the children <laughs> well yeah thanks that's like proving. They're gonna all. 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 It was created to monitor the minority in the group. Back in the day, it was the Irish, it was Italians, and so it's ingrained into the system of policing, and that's the problem. Did, did y'all know that the police force didn't even exist until slaves were brought into America? They didn't even have police until they had slaves. Police were put in there to make sure slaves didn't run away. And they would just ride around and like monitor the streets to see if they had slaves walking around and shit like or running away. Not the and that's what the police force was police force was built on. Like that's crazy. Problem. I think we have to reframe what policing is now. And until we do that, it will always be targeting people of color because that's what it was created to do. Um, I see it as like there's a little bit of a socioeconomic. Well, I mean, it's, it's like kind of saying the well, uh, SEC mostly prosecutes white people. You said what, Kurt? I say he just basically kind of said what you said. Like, through, oh, yeah, like years of institutional racism, you know, where there's poverty and there's communities that, that are shit, kind man. of like have created this like perfect storm of, um, of issues, like wh whether it's legal issues, people robbing, <laughs> selling drugs or whatnot. You know, the idea is if you police that neighborhood more, you're going to have more of them arrested. Can I ask you, uh, can I ask you, like, do you feel like there are equal amount of arrests happening on Wall Street than there are happening in the hood? Like the, the white collar like crimes are, are I do think that they're, they're less like monitored and less you know but without having all the data that I need but I do feel that that they don't suffer as much consequence they don't. when they when they commit crimes. That's very true. You got to look at the prison industrial complex here too in the U S. That's huge business. So and if you look at a group of citizens that have been perceived as no value having to society or whatever. Okay, boom, we're going to push them, we're going to pipeline them into that system. Yeah, I also think that, you know, the qualifications to become a police officer are so low. And it's like, my life is literally in your hands, man. Like, if I get pulled over, maybe that will be the day that I go home to be with the Lord. And I think that that's really tough for me because you don't want to be distrustful of the police. But they're so incredibly distrustful of us that it's like, uh, you could literally kill me. Um, my father worked in law enforcement, and he's a black man. Um, so there are some law enforcement officers that don't feel that way. However, I think a lot of it does have to do with fear and the fear of black people. So I think that if we kind of address that fear level and that we didn't um, portray black people, especially black men, as, you know, big, scary guys, that that would change a lot of stuff. I act differently around people who are black. 
Yeah. You have to. You have to. Why? It depends. It it really depends. Are you moonwalking? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I agree that I act differently around people that aren't black just because like corporate America doesn't want to hear me talking, uh, doesn't want to hear me speaking in slang, and I am not happy about it. Like, I wish that it was different, but I feel like I need to do it to fit into that group. I strongly disagree. I am me wherever I go. I'm a proud black man, and I'm going to speak my truth every day of the week. If you don't like it, shit, it ain't on me. That's on you. And I, I feel like it's a disservice to anyone I'm around if I'm not being my authentic self, really because true, my white friends might want to hang out with me. Right <laughs> They want some flavor. Huh? So if I go in being something right totally quick. different. Yeah, I think uh I think I'm more on the agree side. Cause like um I mean the disagree side, I'm sorry. Cause like the example that old girl just said, like corporate America, I feel like that has it has a little bit to do with race, but like even if that was like a black CEO, I would still change the way I act because like that's for like the job that I'm trying to get or like whatever situation that is. I don't think I change how I act based off of if they're black or not, just like a, the professionalism, professionalism of the situation, kind of like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, I feel what you're saying the environment. Yeah, right. Because like if it's just like a group of white people just like in the street, like I'm not about to start acting different. Because yeah, that. how did you say it like that? I well, I ain't think of it like that. Environment. Yeah, you think right. uh, you taking? Yeah, you really thought of it. Hey, There's two hey. different things. There's two different things. One thing is, are you changing yourself? Or are you changing how you're communicating who you are? And I'm changing how I'm communicating who I am, and I still remain the same. Like, do you have a white voice? Do I have a white voice? I know, I know, Cole, I'm a black man, trust me. I, every every black person growing up in America can code switch. Then you but, didn't move a little bit. Then you need to go to the other side, Here's the thing, the question is, do I act different when, my, when I'm in different surroundings? And no, but see, how would I ever was. be accepted if I'm always code switching? That means I'm always acquiescing to something else. You see what I'm saying? Black. So in order to be accepted, you got to bring you. I think a lot of people do. When you say code switch, do you mean you change the actual words you say? Or but do I find this is necessary. I change how I say it, and I change what I say. I, I will I'll walk into a business. You said what, Kurt? I feel like, I feel like it's necessary. necessary. Well, I mean, like, not necessarily, not necessarily like, like, like necessary. Necessary. it's right, but I feel like it's necessary just to make it to where, like, people are comfortable around. You need a headset, nigga. Uh, Kirk. Why well, you can't hear that good? It, it sounds better right now, but. Uh, uh, I just need my mic whenever he's. Yeah, it's, it's Jared's headset. Jared, I'm sorry. Like, um, benefit the end goal. And I don't yeah. view that as a negative. I view that as me focusing Got y'all on the same room. But I feel like society has made, American society has made black people operate in that fashion. Because nobody asks white people to code switch. They can, bring, they can be white in America, China, wherever. They accept it. We're around like Visa. But I'm the only one that has to go around and say, oh, hi, how you doing? People don't accept it in the hood. <laughs> Chill out. I wish I would but see a nigga step like to the right. Like I'm about to say. What if, what if somebody Man, was like, I'm just throwing it? You felt like you're doing the front was going to be strongly agree. I ain't going to lie. Hey. I'm glad that we all strongly agree. Yeah, I love that, you know, we can have these discussions and like still go home knowing that we family and I and I love I love being black. I love that blackness is expressed Amen. many different it's ways. White people be watching this video jealous as fuck. But I think the <laughs> Which this is so cool. Yeah, I wanna be us in certain aspects. Um, Lisa Ma wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what other ways is there to have it? <laughs> you wouldn't have what any other way. <laughs> it, nigga. Read for them for me, please. <laughs> it, nigga. You don't like it. Yeah, put, <laughs> put a little Asian in there. Put a little motherfucker. Muslim. Shut up, yeah, Another we, splash of Hispanic. I think we good now, fellas. That's all you want to react to? Unless you want to do something else. I Tell them don't fuck with us. I'm going to try and do us. One more? Yeah, react to that. One more? No, one more of these. 
Yeah, we could do another. Let's do one that's right to this. Might be a little more like funny. React, react. Like that. Yeah, okay, one. too serious. You're not even giving the good reactions. No, because no, I'm not about to react to that because that's some bullshit. <laughs>